Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a handle if that's what you choose to do. Um, this is a pretty big cup, so it would be kind of awkward to like lift it and drink out of it. So I do wanna add a ha handle to it so it's more like a big mug. Um, you have a couple different options to make handles. Um, you could roll out the clay like this, which would be called coiling, um, where you just kind of make it like a snake like you did when you used to play with Play-Doh until you get it to the desired thickness, and then I can show you how to attach it. Um, you could make three little skinnier coils and you could braid them together and create a nice handle. Um, whatever you wanna do, if we wanna start looking online for some ideas, there's beautiful handles. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's thick enough and strong enough so that it's actually functional. Um, another option is I got this handy dandy thing with the grant money. Um, it basically molds a handle for you. So to start, there's four different types of handles. You can kind of see how they look. This is like a spiral, kind of reminds me of a unicorn. Um, this looks like a bamboo, uh, and then two kind of more traditional handles. So I'm gonna just go here, this one on the edge, and what you're gonna do <clears throat> is make your clay into a piece like this, and we are just going to put it in and really squish the clay in. So it goes all into the mold. So we have extra clay because we want to make sure we really fill it up. Um, then you need to start kind of pulling the top layer off. Pieces. And this is made out of plaster, which basically pulls out the moisture of the clay really fast so that it'll <clears throat> loosen it up just enough for us to pull out our handle. So I'm going to take a rib now and really pull off that last layer. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit for a minute while it kind of pulls some of the moisture out and show you some other options. So if you have a bunch of clay that's not together, this is called wedging, where you just push the clay, basically knead the clay together to create no air bubbles. So you wanna do that whenever you need to reuse the clay, wedge it back together. All right, so I'm gonna work on my coil one. If it gets weird on one side, you kinda of tap it up your stuff's out of the way. Make sure it's kind of thick. So you can also make a handle this way. I just made a fat coil. Just gonna press it kind of to make it a little bit flat. Um, and you also need to kind of measure your cup. So remember, I have my seam on one side, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my handle on the seam so it kind of hides that. But first, I wanna measure, okay, this is plenty big enough. Sometimes I like to kind of lay out the handle like this to create a nice, beautiful shape. Um, and you can kind of just set your cup and look at it that way to see how it'll fit. And it's pretty. Don't set your cup down though, because you don't want to distort the shape. Um, and I would let this kind of firm up for a few seconds before I get started. All right, so let's see if this one's ready. So then I'm just going to gently stick a little knife down in one side and it should come up, it's nice and pretty. Uh, there was some little imperfections, so you just want to kind of smooth those out and then move this out of the way. Please be very careful if you use the handle maker. Um, it's really fragile. Okay, so same thing again. Um, I'm going to be attaching my handle right here and then just kind of bending it to a pretty shape about how big I think my piece is. Okay, 
So again, we need to do scoring and slipping. It's really important to do it for the handle because this is going to be holding your entire cup up. So where I'm going to attach the top of my handle here, I'm going to score. I'm going to score this. I'm just going to put a little bit of water. Then, just like before, I'm going to kind of do a Velcro motion to really get it in there. It's kind of better, I don't know if you can see this, but to set it off the edge of the table so that you're not distorting your handle. Okay, then you're going to come down, see how it is where you need to attach it. Hold it out like this so you can make sure it's straight. You don't want your handle to curve a, a weird direction. And actually put your hand in there gently to make sure your hand can fit. So now I'm just going to move this off to the side a little bit. Score where they're going to attach together. Add a little water. I'm just going to go right on here with this one. a knife, cut off the bottom of your handle. Now you'll have to clean this up, make sure it's nice and pretty. Um, if your clay starts cracking, it's because you're pulling too much moisture out of it. Um, you're going to go around, you're going to smooth out any seams, so under here, along here, anything that's attached together, you really want to smooth them out. Um, and then before we actually let it dry completely, you're going to kind of go around and knock down any weird pieces of clay that happen. Anything that's like burly or sharp now is going to be super, super sharp um, once it gets fired. Okay, so depending on how strong your cup was before you did your handle, you may have to give your handle some support while it's drying overnight. If that's the case, when you go to put it into your bag, to add some extra clay down in this bottom area right along the seam depending on how your handle is okay so I don't want to do too much more today because I need this to firm up a little bit more so what you're gonna do for tonight after you add the handle put it into your bag and take a piece of clay as kind of a support down here Even if it's not perfectly where you want it, it'll give it a little bit more strength while it firms up overnight. I'm going to fix all these sharp edges the next day. Okay, so that will help if your handle's a little wobbly. So I have an extra piece of clay down here. Again, I'm just going to carefully knot it, not all the way because I want to add some air in there. And then very carefully, Take it to wherever I tell you to take it to.